Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the isometric projection of the combination of solids using the Solid Edge software. So we'll take up the problem statement wherein we have a rectangular pyramid of base 40 mm and height 50 mm and the width being 25 mm is being placed centrally on a cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness of this cylindrical slab is 30 mm. And we need to draw the isometric projection of the combination of these solids. So before we start with the actual construction, let us understand the question. So here we have got two solids. One is a rectangular pyramid whose longer edge is 40 mm and the shorter edge is 25 mm and its height is 50 mm. And the next solid is a cylindrical slab. And this cylindrical slab is having a diameter of 100 mm and the thickness is 30 mm. So with this data, let us first construct the cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm. So before we start with the isometric projection, let us do the orthographic projection of the combination of this solids. So let us move on to the sketching mode and pick up the line option. So we shall construct the XY line whose thickness is 0.18 mm. So let us draw the reference line that is the XY line. And now let us draw the top view of the combination of the solids. So the top view of this particular cylindrical slab is nothing but a circle. So let us draw the circle and the circle will be having a diameter of 100 mm. So let me just enter the diameter as 100 mm. So this is the circle. Let me just move the XY line. So on this 100 mm diameter, uh, I need to place a rectangle. Uh, so the top view of the rectangular pyramid, it is nothing but a rectangle with all the slant faces uh, seen. So for that, let me just construct the rectangle. So let me just take the center point of the circle and uh, draw 20 mm line on both the sides. So now let me just divide 25 mm on both the sides. So 25 by 2 is 12.5 and let me complete the longer edge that is 40 mm and then the other shorter edge is 25 followed by 40 mm and then let me just complete this part of the rectangle. Let me draw the diagonals which represent the triangular faces of this rectangular pyramid. So now let me just uh, use the trim option and trim this construction line and also this edge which was drawn using two lines and make it a single line. So since all this is the top view and it is visible to the observer, let me change the thickness to 0 0.50. Let me just redo the xy line with a longer length so let me select a line of length 0.18 mm and then redo the xy line and then let me take up the projections so let me just draw the reference horizontal diameter in order to take the reference so from the end points i'm going to draw the projection lines and also from the center I'm going to take up a projection line. So here let me just pick up the line as the axis line. So the height of the cylindrical slab is 30 mm and that of the rectangular pyramid is 50 mm. So now let me take up the projection lines from the a rectangle pyramid so this is the base of the rectangular pyramid so this will continue from here so this is the rectangle pyramid so let me just change the thickness to 0 0.50 so the height of the cylindrical slab is 30 mm so this completes the front view of the cylindrical slab which appears as if it is a rectangle of 100 cross 30 now let me join the apex of the rectangle pyramid. 
so this is the front view of the combination of the solids so let me use the smart dimension and show the important uh, dimensions so the top view of the cylinder which is 100 mm circle and then the shorter edge which is measuring 25 the longer edge which is measuring 40 mm while the axis uh, so this is the thickness of the cylindrical slab and this is the height of the rectangular pyramid so this is 50 mm and this is 30 mm so with this combination of the solids in the orthographic view let us consider drawing the isometric projections so in the isometric projections i need to draw a circle of 100 mm so i need to construct a square of 100 cross 100 so let me take up the line option again and then consider the thickness as 0.13 draw the base reference line and from any point i'll consider drawing a line of length 100 mm and the angle here is 150 similarly here 100 mm and the angle is 30 and then the length is 100 and the angle is minus 30 so let me just complete this i can just uh, select this entire sketch and then move this with the copy on okay so now this is ready so let me consider the midpoint so go for the interly sketch and select the midpoint option click ok so let me just join the opposite corners and now from this corner i'll draw a line to the midpoint and this midpoint and similarly from this corner i'll join the midpoint of the opposite edges so now let me construct the circle in the isometric uh, scale using the four point center method so for which i'll select the arc by center point so let me just keep this as the center point and this is the radii of the arc and then sweep the circle let me change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm so i'll consider this as the first point and this is the radii of the arc Similarly, now this is the arc center and next, this is the next part of the circle from this point of intersection. This is the radii of the arc and I'll complete constructing the arc. Similarly, point of intersection, radii of the arc and let me just sweep an arc. So with this, I complete the uh, bottom circle of the cylinder. Now he clearly tells that the height of the cylinder is 30 mm. So I need to measure 30 mm. So let me just draw a line of length 30. So remember all this construction is being done using the true scale only, not the ISO scale. So this is 30 mm. The angle was 30 and this is uh, the line of length 100 again and the angle is minus 30 I'll join this so this is 30 similarly the length is 100 the angle is minus 30 so it will stop here and if I just do this you can see it is 100 and 30 again so this is the uh, base circle of the cylinder similarly let me draw, draw the or top circle of the cylinder by considering the four point center method again so from the midpoint corner join the midpoints so now let me complete drawing the circle so go for arc by center point so this is the first center point this is the radii of the arc sweep the arc next consider the point of intersection 
complete the arc and similarly here the point of intersection complete the arc and then this is the radii of the circle so sweep the arc so this completes the uh, top circle of the cylinder now let me go for the line option select the line of thickness 0 0.50 and i'll just draw a tangent to this so this completes the height of the cylinder now let me consider this portion of the uh, cylinder so just change the thickness to 0 0.50 so here it is a complete arc so what i can do is i'll go for the split option which is there in the extend to next so i'll consider this entire arc as the first entity and split it uh, here similarly this is the entire uh, arc and i'll split it here so now let me just see yes so these are the separate entities so now i can just select this and change the thickness to 0 0.50 similarly this is equal to 0 0.50 so let me just highlight the part of the cylinder which is visible to the observer in the isometric view. So this is 0 0.50 again. Similarly this also let me use the split option. So select the entire arc first and split it at this point. Similarly select the entire arc and split it at this point. So for time being let me just select these two portions and make it 0 0.50 mm thickness. So now you can just see that this part of the cylinder is done. Similarly, I'll select this part and make it 0 0.50. And later on, I can change once the rectangular pyramid is constructed. So now this part is over. So now from this axis, I need to consider drawing a line, the axis of the uh, rectangular pyramid. So let me just consider the height of the pyramid, which is equal to say 50 mm. So this is 50 mm. So you can just see the true scale. 50 mm is done. And this is all true scale dimensions, 30 mm. This is 100 mm, OK? So even this is 100 mm. So now this part is over. So now the base of the pyramid, the rectangular pyramid is concentric. That means what? On the same rectangle, I need to construct this particular uh, rectangular pyramid also. So let me just go for the line option. And then in the style, let me just change the color to blue so that you get the difference of uh, construction lines. So now I need to place the uh, rectangular pyramid. So uh, as we did it in the other graphic uh, uh, construction, so this is 20 mm line at an angle of minus 30. Similarly, 20 and the angle is 50. And here it is 12.5, the angle is 30, and here the total length is say 40 and the angle is minus 30. Similarly, here it is 25 and the angle is minus 150. And then I'll have to draw a line of length 40 mm and the angle is 150 and complete this particular edge of the rectangle so now let me just change the color to black select the line of thickness 0 0.50 i'll just join this So this is how I can place the rectangular uh, pyramid. So this part is not visible to the observer. So let me just change the thickness to 0 0.13 and join this. So it's a complete solid object. So it is not visible to the observer. So even this base, uh, the inner base edges of the rectangular pyramid is not visible. And similarly, let me just uh, zoom in this uh, part and uh, change the thickness of the entire arc. So go for the split option. So let me select this entire arc and split at this point of intersection and also at this point of intersection. So now you can just see that uh, it is a separate part. Similarly, select this entire arc and split it at this point of intersection. So this 
thickness shall be changed to 0.13. So you can just uh, see that I'm going to select the other construction lines of the rectangular pyramid and change the color to black. So let me just fit it to, fit it to the screen. So now this completes the construction of the uh, cylindrical slab and uh, the uh, rectangular pyramid co-centrally placed on this. So now it's time for me to reduce this to the ISO scale. So I'll select the entire uh, construction. So the solids are selected and I'll use the scale option. So now I need to scale down this to 0.816 that is 0 0.82 times and ensure the copy is off and place it at the same reference point so you can just see that uh, it is reduced so these were anyways the construction line so not to worry so with this we complete uh, the isometric construction of the combination of the solids that is a rectangular pyramid being placed centrally on a cylindrical slab whose diameter is 100 mm and thickness is 30 mm so to cross verify you can just see that the length has been reduced to 0.82 times of 30 which is approximately 24.6 and the height that is uh, 50 mm into 0.8 is approximately 41 mm so this is the uh, isometric construction so you need not have to show the dimensions here However, for uh, understanding purpose, you can just show the initial uh, reference line which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. And also, uh, you can just cross verify. See, this was 100 mm in the true scale, but it has been reduced to 0 0.82 times of 100, which is equal to 82. So, these are the ISO dimensions of the combination of the solids. So with this, we complete the construction of the isometric combination of the solids. So by drawing the orthographic projections first and later on doing the isometric construction. Thank you all for watching.